it's me again, Pastor Dan, and it's good to be with you uh, as we continue our devotions uh, and we are continuing this series on the pursuit of love, and we're thankful for those who have provided this for us. This is from the 23rd chapter of Luke, and we're going to begin today with the 44th verse. And it was now about the sixth hour, and darkness fell over the whole land until the ninth hour, and the sun being obscured and the veil of the temple was torn in two. And Jesus, crying out with a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Now when the centurion saw what had happened, he began praising God, saying, Certainly this man was innocent. And all the multitudes who came together for this spectacle, when they observed what had happened, began to return, beating their breasts. And all of his acquaintances and the women who accompanied him from Galilee were standing at a distance, seeing these things. In the song, Look at Him, the composer Ruben Sotelo describes Jesus at the cross. He invites us to look at Jesus and be quiet because there's really nothing to say before the type of love Jesus demonstrated at the cross. By faith, we can imagine the scene described in the Gospels. We can imagine the cross and the blood and the nails and the pain. And when Jesus breathed his last, those who came to see the crucifixion went into deep sorrow. Others stood at a distance watching. They looked and were quiet. Only one spoke, a centurion, who said, Surely this man was innocent. Songs and poems have been written to describe this great love. Many years before, Jeremiah wrote about Jerusalem's pain after his devastation. Does it mean nothing to you, all you who pass by? He was asked people to look and see. He thought there was no greater suffering than Jerusalem's. However, has there been any suffering like Jesus' suffering? All of us are passing by the road of the cross. Will we look and will we see him in love? This Easter, as we continue this road on the Lenten season to the cross, when words and poems aren't enough to express our gratitude and describe God's love for us, even in the midst of all that we are dealing with as a community right now, we need to take a moment to ponder Jesus' death. And in the quietness of the hearts, may we whisper to him our deepest devotion today. And so the questions for you today, how do you express your gratitude to Jesus for all that he has done for you? And who in your life needs to hear the message of the cross? Pray with me. Dear Jesus, as I look at your cross, I have no words to express my gratitude for your perfect sacrifice, but I thank you for your love. Amen.